Hi guys, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can use my gRPC coder web suite extension and uh, some general information and hacking tricks about how you can uh, find new endpoints, services, messages, and gRPC web applications. Uh, I reported a bug like this to a travel agency company, which I found it with my gRPC scan tool. Uh, here is the lab. I search for the test in the post and in my github uh, at first i want to say some information about myself uh, i'm mohammed amin nasiri penetration tester security auditor and bug bounty hunter and i'm currently researching on grpc and grpc web uh, after i found out that there are no uh, complete articles for penetration testing grpc web applications uh, because we have some binary page 64 encoded payloads uh, you can find me in my social media links here, LinkedIn, Medium, Twitter, and my email. And there are two repos repositories in my GitHub, um, gRPC Pentest Suite, the first one. Uh, it contains two tools, gRPC Scan, which uh, scans uh, Java, uh, gRPC web, JavaScript webpack files that contains everything about the communication between the browser and the gRPC backend uh, and the gRPC coder which uh, contains encoding and decoding the payload and uh, finally the gRPC coder web suite extension which uh, uh, makes the usage of the gRPC coder so easier and the gRPC lab uh, contains some examples of gRPC and gRPC web uh, in this video we use uh, hidden SQLi and uh, vulnerable XSS multi-parameter echo okay we start uh, if we intercept the request in the verb suite uh, we can see that um, it's page 64 decode, uh, encoded and if we decode the payload in page 64 we see that there are some binary uh, data in it so uh, we can use the gRPC coder extension uh, like this, decode the payload and it's more readable it's like JSON but it is not JSON and for example change it to something else and encode it again and send to the application and you see that it's changed okay so uh, in every gRPC web application there is a JavaScript uh, web file uh, that contains everything uh, I said that uh, everything about communication between the browser and the gRPC proxy or the gRPC backend so if you want to uh, find that in the application we can easily just uh, search one of the routes in the application for example in logger plus plus and with like with something like this request.body contains the route name so we see that the JS file is in slash dist main.js so we have it here and if we scan the uh, JavaScript file with my tool you can see that we are other fields too so we have two roads one is here we have it hidden SQLI searcher search and another hidden searcher slash search too and in the search also we have a hidden parameter with field number two if we decode the uh, default payload it uses the field number one here uh, and we see that the application doesn't send request to this route and also doesn't use the field number two so we have to test that maybe it's vulnerable so if we want to test uh, for the SQL injection uh, parameter field number one for example, this one, the SQL injection payload. So if we decode it, uh, encoding, sorry, and send to the application, we see that there is no uh, result for that. And if we test again, but uh, with the fit number two, we change the number two and we use the same 
payload again for field number two and if intercept the response we say that there are some response okay so we decode them mm. okay let let application use that so here is other the other posts that are not published yet this is the flag and we saw that uh, the hidden parameter didn't have uh, enough protection for the SQL injection and the other test is on other route search two. so if we change the root route uh, to this for example okay so we use the same approach for that for example okay so uh, it has field number one okay so we use the uh, okay, SQL injection payload here and the comment other so okay okay we see that again we got the uh, even not published posts uh, so uh, the other example is uh, XSS uh, vulnerability in one application that just has some uh, client side protections so I want to run the application uh, okay so here's the application for example I say script alert one and my name for example I want to show you the uh, payload uh, and then for example if we just uh, base 64 decode the payload we see that uh, we cannot easily just uh, manipulate the payload so we use my tool grpc coder so decode it and it's much better to edit that okay we see that uh, there is a, a uh, client side encoding process here and we can remove that and use it here we see that uh, okay it's okay i change one to origin for example Okay, I encode the payload. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, so we have the XSS. Okay, if we just send it without uh, editing with the gRPC coder, we see that it's HTML encoded, so the application is not mm, vulnerable in default mode. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you like that.